What's up, guys? Adam back in with the RV Returners, coming at you with another of our deck techs for the Tampa Crystal Cup. Um, we're going through and kind of doing the decks that we would bring if we were able to play. Um, so we all will be commentating, so we won't get to partake in the actual Swiss rounds, which for me is kind of a sigh of relief, to be honest. Um, I've been testing, but I'm still not quite sure like what's really, really good right now. I mean, I have some a good idea of a lot of decks that are performing very well, um, but a lot of my focus has actually been around the new Heroic uh, Wind Warrior of Light. Uh, it's a card that I really like a lot, so if I was going, I'd probably be playing a deck around that. And the deck that we're going to look at today that's kind of high on my radar, at least as far as that card is concerned, and that's Ice Wind Standard Units. Um, so if we go ahead and look at the build, um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's got a lot of standard units, and then it's got uh, Warrior of Light. So just to start out, we got uh, the, the Chocobo package, right, with uh, Chocobo Knight, the Opus 4 Chocobo, and the Opus 5 Chocobo. I think these are the primary three that you want to use. Uh, Chocobo Knight abuses Warrior of Light uh, pretty heavily, in my opinion. As soon as I saw this card, uh, the first thing that I did was I went to FF Dex and I searched uh, Standard Unit Job and Keyword Search. Because every time you play a Standard Unit, uh, Warrior Light is going to untap two of your backups. So, essentially, that's kind of a 2CP discount on all your Standard Units. So if your Standard Units are searching when you play them, uh, they're going to be netting you CP unless you're playing like really hefty, high cost standard units. So Chocobo Knight might be kind of small, but on a 3 CP body, it's going to search you another standard unit in the form of a Chocobo. Um, so it's going to net you kind of 1 CP uh, in a way. And then that's the same reason why we're running the Deep Ground Soldier package. Um, the DGS First Class Trooper might not be a standard unit, but it's searchable. So we kind of want to run that in there so that our Deep Ground Soldiers... The 3 CP and the 4 and the 2 CP don't uh, whiff. So the whole idea is that we want to get Warrior Light down and we want to drop bodies really fast for really cheap. And so um, with that, the reason that we're running these is because they're standard units that search, like I said before. Uh, the only other standard unit that we have that is not a DGS and is not a Chocobo or a Chocobo Knight is the uh, Opus 7 Time Mage. Uh, Time Mage is kind of like a baby Genesis, basically, is the best way I can put it. And if we're playing it for 1CP, that sounds pretty good in my book. Uh, a lot of times you're just going to be able to move a big guy out of the way, uh, let him sit there for a couple turns because you're going to dull and freeze him, which is going to be really good. And then the only other uh, forward that we're running that we haven't touched on yet is Yastola. And the reason we're running that is Yastola is going to be able to protect our board after we go super wide. This deck's going to go wide, and it's going to go wide fast. Uh, I've, have it, I've had turns where... You know, if they can't handle the Warrior of Light immediately, I get to drop seven forwards, you know, on, on a board that was previously empty. And if I can follow that up with the Yastola as, like, my last forward that I play, it keeps me pretty safe from most things. Um, you do have to be careful about Prompto, uh, because he's going to still be kind of scary. He's going to remove and break something, and it's probably going to force your Yastola to pop, and that's going to hurt. But it protects you against uh, things like really big summons that are going to wipe your board, as well as, like, things like Shantoto. Uh, with the summons, um, still not super sold on this, to be honest, but we're going with uh, Glacia, Alexander, the new Opus 8 Shiva, and the Opus 5 Diabolos. Um, I think these are just some of the best summons you can run in these respective colors. Uh, and, you know, even... I, I just can't run a win deck without running Diabolos at all. Um, I just think it's it's easily one of the best cards in the game. And it's, it's just nuts for what it can do. Uh, the new Shiva... Being able to move three things out of the way is going to be pretty great in a deck where you're just going to be able to swarm and run a bunch of small guys. And then Alexander is just here for us to be able to remove kind of pesky bigger dudes out of the way. Um, and as well as maybe just deal with some backups or monsters that we otherwise couldn't be able to deal with. And then Glacia just kind of lets us maybe mess with our opponent's hand a little bit, but a lot of times you're just going to maybe dole and freeze something for the most part. Uh, it's probably one of the weaker of the summons in this deck particularly, but it's still a very strong ice summon. In the backup line... Um, so first we got our two CP backups, which are Ark, uh, the Opus 2 Jill, and uh, Moogle 11. So the idea behind these is Ark is obviously your standard unit booster. It's going to make your standard units 1 more K bigger. Get your Chocobo Knights around things like Valifor and stuff like that. As well as just makes your other Chocobos kind of beefier and your deep ground soldiers can get pretty big. Um, Jill is there just to kind of help us prevent damage from things like Alhanalim, things like Vasilia, things that can kind of disrupt our board state when we don't want you know our opponent to be able to do that, and it lets us keep more things on board. And it's just a nice turn one backup they kind of play and forget about. Um, Moogle 11 is here particularly because in this archetype we really don't have a good way to search for Warrior of Light. Um, 
outside of wind water you're kind of limited in the ways you can search for this guy so i'm running moogle 11 just to be able to have a way to search for him if i absolutely need to i mean granted you're gonna have to draw two of them to be able to do that and then sometimes it's just a way to go get your shiva out of your deck so that you can win the game uh which is gonna feel really good um on to our three cp backups we have three sid hayes uh pretty obvious it's an ex burst here that searches a standard unit i mean it, what more do you want out of this deck it's gonna start your chain right so if you play this you're gonna either go get chocobo knight typically or the two cp deep ground soldier and you're gonna start netting cp and it's gonna get kind of out of control uh, one of Conjurer here. Uh, Conjurer hits a lot of things. Um, it could hit standard unit backups, uh, which we'll get into one of them in a second, as well as our standard unit forwards to start that chain again. So if someone manages to kill your Chocobo Knight, you could drop a Conjurer, go get a Chocobo Knight back from your break zone, then play Chocobo Knight again. If you have Warrior of Light out on the field, you know, untap two, obviously. Go get your Haste Chocobo, play your Haste Chocobo, and then kind of party time from there. Uh, it lets you kind of spread out and get get out really fast when you know like i said th that's what this deck does this deck will create a board out of nowhere like you could have nothing on the board and then uh, all of a sudden you have eight forwards then onto our uh, four cp and five cp backups we have a uh, two of devout i think devout is really key here uh, again it lets us recur our warrior of light if it dies which is a big deal it lets us bring back your stolas which is a big deal and in a pinch you can bring back your your first class dgs or any of your other smaller standard units if you want to start kind of a chain from there if somehow maybe your backups got doled and you have a warrior light out you can crack devout to kind of play one for free and then untap two backups to start like a chain going from there uh it's just really really strong in here you do have to be careful because devout now does get hit by the alexander that we are also running and i think you're going to see a lot of that but uh other than that i just think the card is very very strong and then we're also running um the opus 7 snow backup uh it's gonna let us move things out of the way a lot of our guys are small barring the opus 5 chocobo which can get kind of big as well as some of the dgs like i said if the first class is out but most of the time our guys are going to be fairly small and their guys are probably going to be bigger but snow kind of lets us push up to the side sometimes you can just tri triple party attack and boof three things out of the way at once they take one damage and then you just swing through for game with the rest of your stuff um so it's just good for that. A lot of times you're going to play Snow kind of like a summon. You're going to usually sit on four backups. And then, you know, after that turn where you've exploded and they couldn't answer your board, then you play Snow and you swing through for game. And then we're just running a one-off Fat Chocobo here. Um, it, again, it can let us get the chain started. Uh, we can go, you know, get Chocobo Knight to search out the Fat Chocobo and then play the Fat Chocobo to get another Chocobo out if we want to kind of play a slower game. I'd say most games I end up kind of not playing it. But in some slower games, it can come into use. Um, for getting your big chocobo even bigger to use as kind of like a blocker or as a wall to prevent your opponent from attacking. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all the cards in the deck, so I guess I'll just go over a couple specific combos that you want to look out for. Um, like I've been saying, you can swarm extremely fast, so you're going to play your Warrior of Light, and a lot of times you want your Warrior of Light to go off the turn that you play it. So once you're on like four packups, you can comfortably kind of play Warrior of Light, then play a Chocobo Knight, uh, untap two of your backups, go get your Haste Chocobo, Play your Haste Chocobo, untap two backups, haste your Chocobo Knight, and if you have another Chocobo in hand, you're able to dull your Chocobo Knight. Play your Chocobo again, untap backups, and somewhere in there you could also have played a Yastola. Uh, if you want to be really safe, you can play kind of Yastola the previous turn before, um, and then play the Warrior of Light the turn after to kind of have her there to protect Warrior of Light for any kind of immediate answers. Because the one weakness of Warrior of Light is, once he's out on the board, he's going to have like a target on his head. And as soon as you play your first standard unit, he is going to use a stack and it's going to give your opponent priority at some point. As soon as you start, you know, to untap your backups, your opponent does get priority um, while you're doing your kind of standard unit chain. Now, if they can't answer it that first time, um, he's going to do a lot of shenanigans. And like I said, you're going to end up with just out of control boards. And you can do that with the Chocobos as well as the Deep Ground Soldiers. Um, and yeah, it's just pretty nuts. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this deck. I really like comboing off the new Warrior of Light. I have tons of builds around this new Warrior of Light, and I'm, I would probably be pretty comfortable taking this into Tampa. Uh, again, it's not without its weaknesses for sure. Um, early big bodies can disrupt this deck pretty bad. Uh, it forces you to have to overspend for your summons probably to get them out of the way, and if they're able to just drop another big body, that's going to be a problem. Uh, one summon that I've thought about maybe running in here is a, uh, a Zodiac just to be able to deal with like early big wide boards. Uh, but if they're not be able to play that and you're able to get to your four backups and then swarm, a lot of stuff isn't going to be able to stop you. Um, things that can prevent like the dole from the Shivas and the dole from the snow can be a bit of a problem like Guy. 
but that's where Alexander and your other kind of spells come into play to try to kind of move him out of the way or just make him a 1k with the Ebolus or something like that. So yeah, I, I, I still think this Warrior of Light is a very strong card. I look forward to seeing what other people do with it in the future. And um, yeah, I hope to see him at Tampa in some form. So that's the deck that I I would bring if I was playing for sure. Um, I, like I said, I'm just in love with this card. Uh, having a great time with it. I have like 30 decks. And uh, yeah, so with that, I'll uh, see you guys in Tampa in about you know a week or so. And I hope you all tune in and enjoy our commentary and whatnot. And let us know if you like it. And let us know if you like this video. And be sure to like, favorite, subscribe for all future stuff uh, concerning RVA Returners. And uh, we thank everybody for watching all our stuff. With that, see you later. Peace.